Earlier this afternoon, it was sent out that if persons wanted to leave Tivoli Gardens, buses would be available. We are in off one of those buses right now, but as you can see, it is rather empty. Some 24 hours later, this. The helicopter is throwing grenade on the house. And the house is in Tivoli Gardens. So, the, on the houses that they're throwing these, these bombs, bombs, are there people in these houses? Yes, people and kids. Children is in the house. One of the police soldier man tell me, say, excuse me, long with them. Was it, was it not clock? And I never left, and I never hear people. You see, when the man don't say you can leave the area, mm -hmm. them lock off the light. Mm -hmm. Where you are going on darkness down the terrace of them? For them kill you. Yeah. Oh. All right, now if you can't see, if you go out there, see your face, yes, so. Have a scare with the bomb, do. And them kill the baby father when the baby father go out there for save her. How much bodies you think you take up? Me take up? Yeah, I'm call it about 18. I'll decompose, I scan the bag, uh, I have to use for me and scan because it's not giving up. Because I'm not doing it, they're not killing me. Because you see anyone do it, you are giant dead too. So I have to do it. Oh, now you get to kill yourself? Yeah. So throw that down them box, sir. Yeah. Box what? me! Oh, they never get to kill him? Well, what happened? Because I'm laying down upon the man and born for murder. Who's one? Soldier and police? Police, the blue suit them. The blue suit, they go and kill him? Yeah. Why they come in and come murder so much innocent youth? On what grounds? Then the case we not gonna run. Innocent youth are that they feel cry about. It relates to bodies that we currently have. There are 73 bodies that we have. We can account for six firearms, four rifles, and two pistols, and close to 8,000 rounds of ammunition. Almost 8,000 rounds of assorted ammunition. The Prime Minister was speaking to MPs against the backdrop of echoing gunfire in the distance and an almost impenetrable security blanket around Gordon House. He said the Golden government regretted the loss of lives as a result of the operation by the security forces. But the Prime Minister said the mayhem facing the security forces made clear the need for extraordinary powers to restore law and order to the corporate area. During this period of public emergency, a concerted effort will be made to go after the criminal gunmen in whatever community they may be ensconced. The violence that has been unleashed on the society by armed criminal elements must be repelled. The operation being carried out under emergency powers are extraordinary measures, but they are an extraordinary response to an extraordinary challenge to the safety and security of our citizens. They kick off the door. When they kick off the door, it's police. They were in full blue uniform. And one of them, they fire something into the house. It, it, when it fired, it seems like it was a gunshot. And they, they told us to come out of the house. And they put the woman them one side and the men them one side. More, all of the people them were downstairs because they went to each, every house and then took all the people them. Then a soldier said, one of them said to me, say, um, I must get up. He said, so I sit down and see me. So he said, get up, you know, you know what I'm saying? You're dead for something. Get up and go back in and wish for you there. And we get up and we end up go back to, to the house that I was. And I leave my little girl, my two little girl, and my husband and my son. End up over there worrying, wondering what was happening. But all of them said people dead and so I say no sir, I don't think Kirk or Dasha are dead. They're supposed to be alright. Because they're not mixed up. They can't find nothing for them. They're not mixed up or anything. But I was there until one, somebody said, you know what, so they kill your husband and your son. They did that beat your husband. And I say, eh, yeah. only to really realize at the end of everything, with everything, them kill them, kill them for true. I was just locked up inside the house. Mm. I know that I hear a voice I talk outside and I say, What do you want to do? What do you want to do? And I can't hear it. I want to hear the sound again. I hear the sound again. Mm. No again. Police, 
police truck. Yeah. Come here, pull up. Yeah, inside come here. right here. Right there, stop sir. right here, sir. Uh-huh. With man pack up on top of one another inside of the truck, lay down dead. And he says the only vehicle them have can carry my son go to hospital. And when he put him up in the truck, I was going up into it and he said, I can't go up in it. I called the mother for come up in and he said, No, nobody can go in there. I run and hold me and start to ball out. And the policeman said to me, He's daddy, don't ball out. Marius. Everything is all right. His son is going to live to tell the tales. And the truck driver ready, man, go on. How many, about how many bodies do you think were in the truck? A 20 yard. Whole heap of man, you see, pile up. This is your son? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come join us, huh? Yeah. Then tell the police that they, the soldier, yeah. them and the police must, must carry to the hospital. And then yeah. say, alright. So tell us from yeah. the point when, it, when, when you get into the truck. And they turn out and went by to Tivoli School, and then one of them drive up in a ratty jeep. And I said, give me that one, give me that one, and one of them in the ratty jeep, in the truck. I said, no man, I'm cool. I'm not going to do that one or not. We went to the house and then we said, they are come and they shot them up fire and they go out all kind of anti. My son now, take up his phone and go upstairs and the land. Have the phone now, he says, can pick up a sign and he, he just come up and step and say, me get shot, me get shot, you know. But we think I joke in America. But when you say get shot, me see into the setting, into the setting, I mean, just him just drop and just roll on the staircase. And I say, Tassie, 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 Nicholas get shot. And that is his baby mother and she run come. I run out of the house and then I put him on the cat and I run out and I go on my other side and say, No, them kill Nicholas, them kill Nicholas, Jesus Christ, them kill my picnic. When I reach, Round to the corner, round the side. And I see it. I, I see a police stoop down. I want a, a black, them, them black, you know, the clothes, and then with the black. I stoop down. And by the time I run and pass, I hear some go blum. I feel something fat. And I need my vagina. So I say, Jesus Christ, me get shot, me get shot, me get shot. No, I see the police sit down there, sir. Right there, sir. So no, I mean, I run past him and him shoot. And I get up, and by the time I get up, I run off again, I drop again, I get up again and run off again. This is the gate when I run and run into the yard and drop. She's the one that helped me. Yeah, when she comes, when, when she leaves here, the whole of this will come right down wash with blood. My son, Nicholas Wilson, is a hard working youth. I have him have a shop here, sir, and he have a business in the out of Darling Street. He means not an eyeglass. Every police on a Darling Street police station know my son. How would them ever come there? The police them say, oh God, Nicholas shouldn't be there. How them know Nicholas is not a bad man? Doctor cut me, you mean? A tea cut. Me get. And the foot, this foot, the right foot, mash up. And I have to take medication every two weeks. And my eye, more time my eye, just red, the blood just come and make the eye red more time. You estimate the damage, about how much dollars you think your damage was? Well, I say about a 60, uh, am I $60,000. Yeah, what I read is that 2,500 people got assistance. Yes. Either they need to get um, money for damage to their house yes. or in the market. Yeah. Or funeral grants. Right. 2,500 in all. Okay. But I'm sure it's much, much more than okay. this 5,000 people. Okay. Many people was hoping for a day like this to come because some people feel like there's nobody there for them. There's nobody who will stand up for them. None at all. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
People were murdered in front of their family. Somebody need to be all account, um, accountable for this thing because we don't we don't understand because the police them come in and the soldier them come in. They now let me see the money arms with the gun. Well, if money arms with gun, let them flee long time. And they they come in and there's nothing. Nobody to take it up and on. So we have to take the street for ourselves. But youths, but adults are still afraid. You know, the, the security force were forced here. They're not giving us the support we're supposed to get. They're supposed to be serving us and they're breaking us. And we need, we need to get an inquiry of this. We want a survey to show that it's more than 78 people died. Come on, you come from, you come from one arrest a man. You come and destroy the houses. You destroy our life. You destroy our sweat, our sweat. And work hard. We need compensation for those who suffered loss and damage. And we want those responsible for any criminal atrocities to be brought to justice. Equal rights and justice for all. It's not about JLP, PNP. It's about human rights, human justice, human dignity. I just want to let the people know that we are giving a prime minister 30 days. So we are demanding a response in 30 days. And we are asking for a response. I am not in a position to say in 30 days, and I'm being very honest. What I can tell you is that she has mandated me to receive on her behalf the petition and that is indicative of her interest and intent. Those who have command responsibility must be investigated. That is one of our main positions. So within 30 days you want what exactly? We want a response from the government as to whether they are going to agree to an international inquiry or not. And if that response will determine our next step going forward. This is a thing that can put the Prime Minister in jail, that can put the Police Commissioner in jail, and can put the, the head of the Jamaica Defence Force in jail. This is how serious the matter is. If you were to have an international court that come here and investigate, these people would be in serious trouble.